PrEP uh, is a drug which is short for pre-exposure prophylaxis. Uh, and uh, if taken correctly, it um, limits the exposure of HIV up to 99%. PrEP is a once a day pill that uh, some people can take, which will help prevent them from seroconverting or uh, which means contracting HIV. Okay, some people have some misconception about PrEP. They think PrEP is a solution for every STIs, which is not. Like, I wish people knew that like, it's specifically targeting HIV and that's it. I started taking PrEP because it gave me a sense of security and safety. Um, and so for me, PrEP was something I took in addition to other safe practices and it just put me at ease. PrEP um, is a once a day pill. I take it at night time uh, before I go to bed. Uh, I jokingly call it my gay vitamin uh, and um, it gives me peace of mind. Um, I made the practice of taking it with dinner, same time, every day. Um, the two dinner prep became associated with it. PrEP needs to be accessible to everyone, um, not just in terms of you know, which healthcare providers can prescribe it and will prescribe it, but also in terms of the overall cost. Uh, for me, when I switched jobs, uh, I lost my health insurance for a time, and I actually had to stop taking PrEP uh, because it was coming up to about $250 to $300 a month, somewhere in that range, and it was just really prohibitive for me. Uh, and I think for a lot of folks. So we definitely need to do better about making sure everybody can have access. When I started to take uh, PrEP, it kind of gave me comfort and control, I guess, especially in my, over my sex life, but over like my life in general. Like I kind of made more choices based on how I felt instead of how, what, like what I fear. One of the main concerns gay men in particular have with sex is the concern that they might get HIV, they might seroconvert. And so um, the peace of mind that's offered by, by PrEP um, is invaluable. It, it, it allows you to focus a lot more on what's happening at the time rather than the consequences of what's happening.